Good morning. morning. And welcome to our morning service. My name is Reverend Theron L. Jones I, and I'm an associate minister at the Great Acquaintance Missionary Baptist Church, located in Chicago, Illinois, at 6758 South Wabash Avenue, where our pastor is the Reverend Kevin Wilkes. Let us open with a word of prayer. Father God, thank you. Thank you for Jesus, God. our Lord and Savior. And thank you for the Holy Spirit, our comforter and our guide. And Father, right now we thank you for your word, which was Christ in the flesh. And Father, we praise you and we glorify your name because it's time for your word to go forward. And you already promised us that when it go forward, it's going to come back. But when it come back to you, it will have achieved all that it has right. that you had it to do. Yes. And Father, prepare me as your vessel of speech. And prepare the ears of your people, Father, that your words would not fall on deaf ear. Let them know it ain't Jones talking. Hmm. But it's the Spirit of God working through Jones. And we just thank you and we praise you. We glorify you and we magnify you. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Amen. 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 Our scripture for the day comes from the Gospel of St. John's, the fourth chapter, verses 19 through 24. And when you have it, please stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. Amen. John, the fourth chapter, starting at the 19th verse. John 9, John 4, and 19. Amen. 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 We're going to read verses 19 through 24. And it reads thusly. The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worship in those mountains, and ye say, that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. 21. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what we know, what we worship for salvation, if of the Jews. 23, but the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship. 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Amen. Thank God. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. And the message for today, again, the meaning of the cross. Worship. The meaning of the cross. Worship. And I'm going to focus in on verse 23, and I want to read the New International Version of that verse 23. A time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for they are the kinds of worshipers the Father seeks. Amen. Amen. In this fourth chapter, of the gospel according to St. John. Jesus travels through the three areas where the majority of his preaching and miracles took place. Well, Judea to the south, Galilee to the north, and Samaria smack dab in the middle of the two. Jesus 
he he leaves from Judea in this chapter four in verses one through three and comes into Galilee. John four and four. And then he travels later to Samaria, Samaria, John four, four through six, where he encounters this Samaritan woman. And this happened at 12 o'clock noon, because it said as the sixth hour. And in the Jewish church, in the Jewish culture, they day started at 6 a.m. So the sixth hour would be 12 noon. And, and this encounter normally would not have even taken place because Jews and Samaritan had no personal contact or interactions with one another. And that's the reason the woman was at the well at 12 o'clock. Because Jewish homes got up in the morning and they went and collected the water early in the morning that they had a water supply for the whole day. So the woman at the, the Samaritan woman came to the well late because she figured that all the Jews had already took care of their water problems. Mm -hmm. And that's why she was there alone. And, and it says in that verse, the first verse, 19, it said that she perceived that he was a prophet. And, and the Greek word is horio, horio, that means to see. You got to see Jesus for yourself. Well, you, if you don't see him, you can't know him. I don't care what you heard. I don't even care if you read from Genesis to Revelations. Until you perceive and discern who God is for you, for me. It's an individual relationship. That's why we don't get saved in groups. Oh, come on now. That's why when you join come church, the whole family don't join church together. Yes. That's why when you get baptized, you get baptized for yourself. You have to perceive who God is for you. Mm. Come on now. Your mama can't tell you. Pastor can't tell you who God is for you. We can teach you what does say the word, but we cannot put in your discernment who God is for you. That's right. Well, and, and this woman, she said, I perceive that you as a prophet. Ah. And because of what he had told her and how he told her. When, when God comes and talk to you, you ought to be able to recognize his voice from all them other voices in your head. That's right. Because first of all, God is not going to tell you to do anything that is not lined up with his That's word. Right. That's right. Don't never say the devil. The devil can't make you do nothing. <laughs> because the devil has no power. Except for the power we allow him to have. And, and then he said, she asked him about the worship. Okay, worship. What is worship? And it's Sir Hobo in the Greek. It means to worship, to reverence, to adore, to hold something in high respect. Showing the reverence of someone who is devout. Are you devout? Are we devout? Are we devout to serving God and only God? Mm. That's what devout means. That means you're you serious about what you're doing. And when you, when you worship God, you ought to be serious. That's right. You shouldn't let nothing get in your... Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Nah. We're looking around the church to see who clapping their hands and who ain't singing. Worship is individual. That's right. I can't worship for you, and you can't worship for me. But we can worship together. Hmm. Come on now. We can all worship in our own way. David danced till his clothes fell off. Nah. Because he was that happy about the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't the Lord did something to make you happy? Huh. Yes. 
Ain't, ain't, ain't something the Lord did that make you all to jump up and down sometimes and yes. shout? Sometimes you just, sometimes I just cry. But it ain't because I'm sad. It's because sometimes I don't even believe how good he's been to me. Ah, Amen. come on now. Not because of some of the things I done done. But he looked beyond all my yes, faults. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he saw my name. And that's why I worship him. Mm -hmm. I ain't got, I don't care about nothing on Sunday morning but getting here as fast as I can. Come on, that's it. Ask my wife. When you come to worship, don't worry about who in church and who ain't in church. Don't worry about what's the ushers doing. You're supposed to be focused on God. That's right. That's right. But this worship thing going to go a whole lot deeper before I'm done. Because worship mm, is not just about Sunday morning. Worship is a lifestyle. Hmm. Worship, Jesus' entire life. Read the Bible. Read the Gospels. Read the life of Jesus. Was worship to God, and his death on the cross was the ultimate worship. Yes, it was. It said, what greater love can a man have than lay down his life for a friend? And I thank God. That I'm a friend of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thank God I know the one that hung, bled, and died on the cross. Yes. And, and I thank him because he didn't have to do it. Yeah. He didn't have to do it. It tell you in the Bible, he said he could have called legions yes. of angels huh. to get him off that cross. He could have got it. He didn't need no army. He was God. He could have let himself down. Come on now. He didn't need nobody. He don't need us. That's right. But he love us. He don't need us. He exactly. They just both of them said. It. Both preachers said it the same. He chose us. We didn't choose him. That's right. And whether you choose to worship him or not, God is still going to be God. Hallelujah. And he is not going to change because you don't worship him. Yeah. That's your, that's your shortcoming. That's your loss. Because it ought to be some joy in your worship. Yes, indeed. You shouldn't be walking around every day looking like you're sucking on lemons Come on now. if you know J-E-S-U-S. I don't care how bad things get. I don't care how broke I get. I don't care if I lose my job because I know Come Jesus. On, Come on, Come on, now. And I'm going to worship him. Better tell the truth. Mm. Whether I got two nickels or 5,000 nickels, I'm going to worship my God mm. because he looked Beyond my yes, faults he did. Yes, and he seeing did. my True. needs. Yes. And, and you know, think about it. Worship. Worship is about God. It's not about us. Hmm. It has nothing to do with us. It's about who God is, what he has done, and what he has promised that will yes. come to pass. Yes. 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 That's what worship is about. I'm thanking him for what's going to be. Ah, oh, on, I'm thanking him yeah. for when he blessed me <clears throat> financially yes. or whatever else he got in store for me. I'm just thanking him for being God Hallelujah. all by himself. Hallelujah. If he don't never do nothing else for me, Christ did it all. And to him, I owe it all. Yes, 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 yes. Because I can't do nothing. Mother Connie, in her prayers, often says, I can't eat, I can't pray, I can't think without Jesus. 
I would be a lifeless bag of bones without the breath of God running through my body. And you don't want to worship them? We worship cars. We worship jobs. We worship our spouses, our children. And there ain't none of them got a heaven to send you to or hell. But when you worship the one, when you worship God, your burdens get a little lighter. Come on, then. Your heart relaxes. When you worship God, you see that the problems that we got ain't so big. Because ain't nothing too big for my God. When you, when you worship God, you can really understand just how blessed you are yes. already. Yes. yes. Come on now. You got your hand out. Asking, asking, asking. But the hand is full. You ain't even thanked him for it. Yeah. You ain't even thanked him for it. And, and worship God ain't just about we, everything we do should be a worship. When we give to others, it shouldn't be great. You say God loves a cheerful giver. Yes, he does. If you're going to be grudging, don't get it. Come on now. Because God ain't, you ain't getting no points. Not that we on a point system anyway, but God know your heart. Everything you do, when you wake up in the morning, when you say goodbye, when you go to work, when you talk to your boss, whatever you do, Ought to be a worship to God. That's right. Somebody ought to see some Jesus in us. That's right. <laughs> Somebody ought to know we be here on Sunday. But worship is Sunday to Saturday. It's all day, every day. Remember, it's a lifestyle. You know, it's Sunday at 1.30 when I hit the curb, I don't put off take off my worship. Mm. And I don't get up Sunday morning and put it on. <laughs> it's supposed to be on all the time. <laughs> when you worship, you show the world that there's hope after all. Yes, mm. yes, yes. When, when you worship, what did that responsive reading say? When somebody, when you worship, and somebody know that you're going through some struggles and you still worship God. Yeah. Somebody just might ask you, how can you do it? Then you can tell them about a man named Jesus. Woo! Come on, man. Come on, man. See, 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 your worship yes. will open the door yes. to bring a sinner yes. Yes. to Jesus. Yes. Your worship will make your enemy your footstool. Yes, it will. Yes, your, it will. Your, your worship will open up doors that you didn't even know existed. Ah! Your, your worship will put a smile on your face and somebody else's. Yes, it will. Yes, a worship will. will turn your tears into laughter. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I worship. Come on now. Come on. Come y'all, on don't y'all know? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. No. Don't you know? When you worship God, you don't think about the things going on in this world. That's right. When you, when you worship God, you don't have to worry about. You have to be concerned and know, but you don't have to worry about nothing because there's no worry in my God. Ah, it says it in the word. If you're going to worry, don't pray. That's right. If you're going to pray, don't worry. The two is opposite. Right. They're totally oxymoron. opposite of each other. They are, they are oxymorons. Yeah. And, and when you worship, things in your life get a little bit better. Mm. When, mm. When, when you worship, you find yourself with a different kind of walk. Come on there. Come a on different there. kind of talk. Yeah. You, you don't get upset about the things that used to upset Come you. Come on now. You know, you let things go right over your head. Yeah. When, when you worship, the people you don't like, that you dislike, they got a little better personality. <laughs> when, when you worship, you don't get mad. Come on, man. Ain't no anger in your body. Yeah. Ain't no anger in your spirit because ain't no anger in God. Yeah. 
When you worship, you got love flowing from God yes, to you, you to everybody. Yes, you do. And, and when you worship, you know that it's for God and not for man. Oh, I man. could care less how you think I look up here in this pulpit. <laughs> 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 Whatever I'm doing, clapping, stomping, whatever, because it ain't for you. Come on, then. It's for the man that brought me from nowhere. Yeah. It's, it's for the man that then kept me for Come six or seven years. Yeah. It's for the man that I love. Come on, then. You for six or seven years. Mm. Help me, Jesus. God. Been been so good to me. Hallelujah. I can't help but worship. Hmm. When my eyes open, I say, Father God, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, my comforter and God, just thank you yes. for giving me the breath to yes. wake up another yes. day. Yes. And then I roll back over. <laughs> and when I wake back up, I finish my morning prayer. But see, when you worship, you can lay down at night and sleep peacefully. Yes. When, when you worship, you, you don't worry about the bill collectors. Because yeah. <laughs> God already got your back. Yeah. When you worship, you're going to be right. You're going to do right. You ain't going to be perfect, but you going to do the best that you can to live according to God's will. And that's all. God don't ask us to be perfect. Just by trying to live the way he want us to live. Yes. That's worship. It ain't no big drawn out scientific formula. It's just what did that daily the response to read? It said basically to paraphrase it it's doing unto others as you would have others do unto you. Well, Just that by itself is worshiping God. Yes, it is. It's that simple. We try to make this thing way too complicated. Yeah. Well, I, well, she do, don't care what she did to you. Yeah. Have nothing to do with how you respond. Yeah. It says those that treat you the worst, ask God to bless them. That's right. Amen. Right. Not to curse them, to That's bless right. them. That's worship. And Jesus worshiped the Father for 33 and a half years. And, but he knew. He already knew where his life was going in. He knew he had to go to the cross. But did that change his worship? No. No matter what you got to go through, don't turn your back on God. That's right. Amen. So many times I've seen people, they might lose a loved one, a spouse, and they just, they blame God. Or they may not blame God, but they feel like God didn't let them down. Sure. But remember, all things work together for the good yeah, of those right. who right. love the Lord and are to call yeah, according right. to his that's purpose. Right. Yes. Death, heart, life, heartaches, pain, suffering, it all come together to fulfill God. You got to thank God for your problems. Yes, 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 yes. Because if you didn't have no problems, on, how would you know when he brought you out of something? On, that's right. Come on. If you ain't never been down, how would you know where up yeah. is? If you ain't never lost nothing, how would you know when you gained something? Good. If everything always been perfect, how would you even recognize wrong? Hmm. But when, when you understand, God didn't promise us no rose garden. That's right. That's right. But he said, he said it, he sold us, thou shall have Excuse me. Exodus 34 and 14. When they was coming out of Egypt, he said, For thou shalt have no other God for the Lord 
whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. And then after they went through all their madness and went on, they would worship for so long, then they would turn their back. And then he had to remind them again in Deuteronomy 5 and 7, thou shalt have none other God before me. And we think of gods as in a religion. But like I said earlier, what about them significant others? What about them cars? What about them jobs? You can go to work five days, seven days. You work six days a week, 14 hours, and can't get to church Sunday. That ain't no worship. Because if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have the job. That's why you worship him. Because everything we got belonged to him. Yes, indeed. We have yes, nothing. Indeed. We came here with nothing. And we gonna leave here with nothing. Ain't no U-Haul truck going out to Oakwood. I ain't never seen a U-Haul following a hearse. You ain't taking nothing with you. That's why you gotta worship him. You gotta worship him like Jesus did. Jesus said, okay, what they do to my Jesus? They didn't, they called him everything but a child of God. Even as he was preaching, they wouldn't listen to him. They didn't believe him. He told them who he was, but they still didn't believe him. He, 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 they, he healed the sick. He raised the dead. He healed the blind. He did everything, miracles. He fed 5,000 men plus women and children with a two-jack fish sandwich. <laughs> a fish lunch he fed we don't even know how many people was there. But he fed them. Who wouldn't worship a God like that? Mm. But Jesus kept on. It don't matter when people talk about you. Keep on going. They call you a religious fanatic. Oh, you ain't got to go to church all the time. Yeah. No, I ain't got to go to church all the time because the church is in my heart all the time. I'm at church wherever I'm at. But I go to fellowship and to worship with my fellow believers. That's, right. That's, right. That's why we assemble ourselves together. Because iron sharpens iron. Ain't no Christian going to get sharpened by hanging around a bunch of sinners <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you will get dull if any. You will join in on their games. But when you iron sharpens iron, and you bring some of them folks in here, they might catch on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They might they catch on. If they will when Jesus yeah. touched their heart. And just like Jesus, when the road get tough, you got to keep on going. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to carry your own cross. Yeah. You got a cross. Of, you, but you, you say you got to bear a cross every day. You got to bear that cross. And you got to walk down that road by yourself like Jesus did. Because sometimes when God needs to work on us, he don't need nobody around. Come on. That's right. You don't need no husband. You don't need no wife with you. Your best friend don't have to be there. Sometimes God just need time with you. And you worship him. You don't have to be seen or heard by nobody else. You got to spend some time with God alone. Come on now. I'm not talking about Sunday morning from 11.30 to 1. Mm. You, got, you got to spend some time alone. You got to, sometimes I have to cry my heart out to God. I got to stretch out on the floor because I just don't know what's going on right now. And, and it ain't that I'm confused or nothing, but I know he know better than I do. And I know he didn't brought me this far and he ain't going to leave me behind now. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just like Jesus. And you got to walk. And you got to care. And then when, when the people talk about you, when they lie on you, when they deceive you, when, when they do all the other evil things, you got to let it go. Bruh. You got to keep on worshiping God. They're going to think you're crazy. Yeah, 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 but all you're going to yeah, say, yeah, praise yeah, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Whoa. Because yes. on that great getting up morning when Jesus cracked the sky, and the dead in Christ gonna rise. 
And we gonna get caught up yes, yes, yes. in the air. But it hadn't been for the cross. If, if Jesus hadn't have walked up that hill and carried that cross, if they had stretched them wide and hung them high, because he told them, and they lifted them up. When I, if I be lifted up, yeah. I will draw all men unto me. Thank God from everywhere. They lifted them up. Thank you. They lifted them up. And you got to worship them. 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 Then they put them in a grave. And for three days, Three nights, but they were. I think they told me. I think they told me that it was early. It was early Sunday morning. He got up. Oh my God, got up. My Jesus got up. He got up. He got up. He got up. With all power in heaven and earth in his hands. And thank God from everywhere. And I'm going to worship him to our time. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless. And God keep us all. Yes. Amen. Yes. And thank God. Whoa.